Happy New Year. 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 Happy New
I, I could never go to dinner okay. again. <laughs> that sounds awful. Alec, what about you? <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Alec? Anything? Oh, uh, for the love of... If I could go back and tell myself one thing. For the love of God, don't go see Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Nice, nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Look at that. Nice. Or Battlefield nice. Earth. Battlefield Earth. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, it was terrible. Yeah. But you know, um, yeah, the fourth one was pretty bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> my my version of that was uh, Jurassic Park three was a waste of money. That was gonna yeah. be my my movie related um yep. message to myself. Yeah. <laughs> Not as bad as N D four, but No. Bad. <laughs> I love that you had the power to travel time to give yourself advice and yours was to sway away from a bad movie. <laughs> like, like that that's, was, that's important. That, that was that, the most that important thing. That's yeah. based with you. That those kind of things, you you remember them years later. Like, oh God, why? Yeah. Why did I do that? My That's eyeballs too hard in my life. I can't get back. Um, That's right. We have a couple of uh, a couple of tweets coming in. Um, these ones are actually, you know, kind of sentimental, and nice, which is awesome. So to steer away from bad movies and yelling wait randomly at yourself. Um, Sarah Peapod says she would tell herself to actually major in vocal performance and live the dream. Aww. Uh, See, that just is such true. a smart answer. Mm-hmm. Such a smart <laughs> answer. Yeah. I told myself not to see a uh, shitty right. movie, and she has aspirations and dreams. <laughs> yeah, but that movie really sucked. Like, it really sucked. <laughs> really, really sucked. sucked. Really sucked. Really so bad. Sucked. Um, and just so you know, um, Allison uh, Dezels online agrees that yeah, winning lottery numbers or kino numbers, anything like that, would be oh, would yeah. be the way to go for sure. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, Lauren, what about you? I I actually, it's kind of in the same realm as hers. Just skip the four-year college and forget about all those student loans. And actually, I would have just gone straight to, like, film makeup, you know? Yeah. Would have been a much yeah. better path than, uh, <laughs> than what I did. Than tying up <laughs> thousands of dollars of your money for years to come. <laughs> that I'm still working on. <laughs> Got, like, yeah. barely a bank into it. Maybe some of my money, Lauren. Oh, my lottery winnings. Oh. <laughs> See, that's nice. Okay. I love her. <laughs> no, here's the question. Would you go back and tell yourself, like, multiple, like, lottery numbers? Like, you're, like, so for, like, one year you would save these ones, and the next year you would save these ones. Like, would you I go like so that we would have, like, a... Well, I feel like people would get suspicious, so you'd have to switch it up and, like, find out, like, start betting on, like, the World Series and, like, horse True. races. Do it all. You'd be like Al Rothstein. <laughs> Like in New York City. Like you would just be rigging stuff everywhere. <laughs> see, but you know, I don't know if you, did you guys ever see that E! True Hollywood stories of lottery winners and all the horrible things that ever happened yeah. to them? Yeah, yeah be careful. There was, a dude, there was a dude down here in Tampa. I think something, I think his last name was like Shakespeare or something. Like he won the lottery and like his girlfriend killed him and then buried him in their backyard and was like, guess I won. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. It was awful. Nice. And I remember going, there had to have been a better way to do this. <laughs> I feel like his name should have been I don't know. Seems pretty sound. Seems pretty sound. I mean, you were already <laughs> dating. Like, what did you... Like, yeah. <laughs> and especially, I mean, I don't know what it is in the States, but I know in Canada, if you're common law for a certain amount of time, like, you kind of qualify as yeah. someone's, like, partner. So you No, can... we get to break off. Just, oh, really? Yeah. 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 In some of the states, yeah. <laughs> well, and the worst thing, if you hear a terrible story that happened in America, it's 99% happened in Florida. Uh-huh. Really crazy, weird stuff, it's always in Florida. Or so it's like humidity? In Florida. Right. <laughs> it's true. Sorry. You know it's true, Darren. <laughs> Palm trees and horrible um, horribleness, yes. <laughs> and meat. It's hot. It's really hot. And timekeeper. And timekeeper, and yeah, that's a draw. Um, Let me share some uh, tweets here. Yeah. Uh, Dazzles also says, "How dare anyone hate on Jurassic Park three? Oh. Five exclamation points! <laughs> I don't know. I think we dare." Dazzles, it wasn't good. It wasn't nah, good. It wasn't. Uh, see now, now Dazzles can start giving you a hard time, Tanya, instead of me every week. <laughs> all, direct all your hate to Tanya now, Dazzles. <laughs> Uh, is awesome. Now he, watches Austra- he watches Australia every day, so every, every week. I mean, so thank you, Dazzles. Uh, our new friend Amy <laughs> Hoff from series Caledonia. We just met her at Miami Webfest. She is watching. She just tweeted in, "Hey, Amy. Amy is awesome. 
Uh, she said, probably shouldn't have gotten that fight with that guy or any fight. It would have changed my life. <laughs> Amy, if I'm correct, actually, I professionally actually fought, used to fight, actually. Yeah. Oh. Tell me how they're oh. yeah. She's badass. Don't, don't mess She's with her. She's funky. Yeah. You're absolutely not going <laughs> to. <Yeah. laughs> totally. Uh, she, she actually kicked Aaron's ass in Miami Web Fest. It hurt. It hurt. You know? <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but the alcohol helped. It was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, who? Sarah does say those movies did suck on Twitter. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Not so crazy. <laughs> well, and in the realm of like film or like bad things to not watch, I would have told myself don't invest all the time into how you met, how I met your mother. That's what I would have gone with. Oh, uh, really? I don't just watch finished that time. series. Like literally, just finished it. Is that because of the ending, or I haven't seen the ending? Well, yeah, I'm sure oh, you've heard it. Away. About the ending. Yeah. Huh? Oh, no, I've, I've seen most of it. I just haven't seen the ending yet. So it, is it bad, Lauren, because of the ending, or is it just bad, period? Well, I mean, I haven't even finished. I've got I have two episodes left, and I already know what happens because everyone was talking about it. So mm -hmm. now it's just kind of anticlimactic. Yeah. I mean, they get off the island, so what do you fucking do? Yeah. I mean, were they dead the whole time? Like, that's the question. <laughs> yeah. But the, but the creators told us they weren't. Is that it? And the polar bears? What's up with the polar bears? I don't know. You the got question. me. The monster answered. comes and, like, just swoops Robin away. Like, it's it's really, really weird. I don't understand. <laughs> but I saw it coming, <laughs> <laughs> and of all the people, you would have thought they were taking Barney away, but who knows? Ah. Yeah, that's true. Nah, he's a force of nature. He's got to stay. <laughs> uh, we have some other tweets here. You know what? This is really cool. A bunch of people we met at Miami Web Fest and who – we did Super Geek Up Live there, by the way. We're actually watching now. This is great. Uh, Sarah from Off Awful, who won best – that series won Best Director at Miami Web Fest, is, is watching. She says, I would tell myself to beware of anything too good to be true in New York City, which is where she's based. Good advice. <laughs> uh, Dezel says, I'm here. Everyone celebrate, especially you, Jeff and Tanya. Uh, <laughs> maybe we'll celebrate later. Uh, <laughs> uh, Hunter's Realm says, I would tell myself to not slack on my workouts and that there are some kick-ass superhero shows to come. That is very true. Good advice. That's very true. Very true. <laughs> Alexander very true. Like says, cake. I make my younger self understand that you can actually write comics for a living so I could hit that path earlier. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Yep. Very good. Yeah. Um, Julian from LARPs, another Miami WFS winner. I would, hey, just call me, I would tell myself that Pokemon t-shirts aren't as cool after elementary school. Wait till <laughs> Geek Chic is in fashion, please. <laughs> <laughs> but if you just keep wearing it, those things come back around. So you'll eventually just kind of naturally walk eventually. back into cool. Okay. No, no, Julian. You can see yourself as like a trendsetter. Like you were, you were there before everyone else. Like that's like the ultimate like cool hipster thing. You were there before it was cool. Just keep telling yourself that. Yep. Yeah, sure. Sure. That's it. Julian. Uh, <laughs> uh, our our, our co-host, our co-host Nicole, who is feeling ill but tweeting in, says, "I would tell myself to be confident and comfortable with who I am." I love you, Nicole. Thanks, Nicole. That's you. a that's a total Nicole answer right there. Total Nicole answer. It's all ra rainbows and puppies. <laughs> and Steve Puff. Aww. Steve Puff. The world sickens uh, me. Amy Hoff says, hi, Jeff and Darren. You're awesome, too. I wouldn't call the fighting professional exactly. Okay. I now have so this mental picture of like our world. I'm sure it was bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, I guess I should give my answer, huh? Yeah, you should. Yes. Uh, so I guess two things. I would tell myself that all the geeky stuff I loved as a kid will actually pay off, and I'll like actually like do shows and off of it, and I'll become kind of like known for that stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, and I tell myself to go talk to the most beautiful girl in school who lived a half block away from me down the street. God damn it! <laughs> Sentimental and Jeff. Yeah, yeah, this just got weird. I just got. It's all right. Can I? It's I got over a long time ago. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um, can I share my other one that's not related to Jurassic Park? Go. Yeah. I suppose. Okay. Um, Fine. 
Um, so when I was 16, I was dating a guy who was an actor, and he got invited to an audition here in Toronto. Um, and so I came down with them, and um, it was like for something stupid, and I helped them learn his lines. I'm like, this sounds just ridiculous. It was about like mutants and stuff like that. And, it was uh, X-Men? <laughs> Let me finish. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I, I, I was sitting. Guy. Damn it. I was sitting in the casting room, like waiting for him, like in the outer room. And the casting director came out, and she looked at me, and she's like, "Do you want to audition?" And I was like, "Oh no, no, I'm just a, an amateur actress. I I just do community theater. That's I'm not going to audition." And yeah, I went for coffee with this um, ex-boyfriend of mine, like a couple years ago, just to catch up. And he's like, "Oh, that was for X-Men." I was like. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Was it for X, which X-Men, though? The first one. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I was going to say, if it was X-Men 3, then you probably lucked out. What is it? <laughs> what? You in movies. X-Men. I know. Yeah. Gee, that's all he wants to do time travel for, is movies. Yeah. I know. It's all everything. I know. But, yeah, I said no to X-Men without knowing it. Uh, I would go uh, back That makes my story about yes. the, That makes my story about the girl seem great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not bad. <laughs> That's my story. That's all. It's not Jurassic Park three. Sorry. <laughs> but you had two. You had a both ends of the spectrum. So who? So Tanya, if you could play anyone in X Men, who would you have played? Oh, Rogue. Yes, thank you. Hell yeah, Rogue. <laughs> like what's like? How is that even a question? <laughs> well, it, was, it was a question because I put a, a question mark at the end of it when I phrased it. Uh-huh. And you would oh, oh. That is, that's, what, yeah. that's what those are for. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Punctuation is really important. <laughs> so, Darren, why don't you tell us a little bit about Timekeeper? All right, first, how did the show come about? All that fun stuff. All right, first, I'll give my answer to the question. I oh, right, right. Answer. Oh, so, look, Tanya likes to skip our guests, apparently. <laughs> When she gives the Sorry, sorry. I forgive you. All right, so th- there's been all this serious stuff. Can we just go all. back in time and redo that? Oh, yes. <laughs> Very good. That's what we'll use it for to set this straight. I name Super Geek, and then I would wait for Jeff's call. <laughs> and I would sit here like this. You little bastard. <laughs> so, Timekeeper. Time Deeper is a time-traveling show. It follows the exploits of Mr. Mitch Manners, who wanted to be here tonight but couldn't be here tonight. He's basically trapped in the past, and he's basically the most boring time traveler you can imagine at the start. He's asked to do menial tasks, stand on a street corner, hitchhike, eat a fish sandwich at specific times and places, and if he doesn't do it, some vague, horrible thing will befall the earth. So because it's always so innocuous, he just does it until the end of the first episode. When something, He's asked to do something horrible. And he has to re-question um, how much he should uh, listen to and obey the powers. And that's the start of the journey. Um, of time. And I'll stop there. Otherwise, I'll just give stuff away. <laughs> <laughs> you must watch. Um, how, did, how did you come up with it? Like, what was the inspiration for it? Uh, it was a couple things. I mean, one of the, one of the things I really like about Star Trek, whenever they do kind of a time loop episode, is there's always someone some um, someone who says, and I specifically remember Voyager Cap, uh, Captain Janeway would say, kind of laugh when someone would say, "Hey, but shouldn't that thing have been over there at this part, point in time, so it would make sense for it to be there?" And she would just kind of wave it off and say, "Oh, don't think about te- temporal anomalies; it'll give you a headache." Just that kind of joke that was kind of fun, rather than spend all your time trying to figure them out. You they kind of get brushed under the rug. Um, so I, I thought making a show where it was kind of the opposite was true, where we think about all those anomalies and how they figure into a pattern and how you know reality is made up. So that was kind of one idea. And then the other, the other, not that this was like a main idea of the show, but something that's kind of uh, found its way into it is I used to play um, Prince of Persia, the original one, the first game when it came out on PlayStation. And every time you got to a save point, um, there'd be kind of a geyser of light and you'd step into it and you'd save, and it would give you kind of these little flashes of what was to come. And I kind of thought of that as a nice little kind of break whenever he would jump back in time as far as kind of a mental download of, uh, of what he was supposed to do. Um, so those are kind of the, the, that was kind of the start of it. Very cool. And for everyone, I keep looking over here because I found on my webcam today doesn't have sound, so I'm now running it off my laptop with all the people, hi, people, and faces over here, and then I'm looking over here and it's very confusing. So anyway. <laughs> I'm not just continuing to do this for like no reason, just as an FYI. <laughs> Well, you are in Florida. Couldn't you do the sunglass thing and look to the side? CSI, sorry, CSI of Miami, whatever. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, Allison, uh, you play Emily. Do you want to tell us a little bit about her 
and how you got involved? Yeah, um, well, I got involved just really on a whim. They asked me to audition for the role, and um, I was in another show at the time, and so I came in on, like, literally, like, a lunch break and read and um, actually read with Chris, and I think, Darren, you were filming, and... Yeah. Um, yeah, just kind of, I got a call a few days later that they wanted me, and I, w I came into the second season, so I wasn't in the first season, as kind of a new character. Um, uh -oh. Sorry. We came, we came unattached. Um, <laughs> and Emily's character, I don't want to give too much away either, but um, she kind of is, I a don't badass. know, what, what can I say? Yeah, she's a badass. I get to, you know, beat people up a few times, and um, I kind of am playing both sides of the um, good and evil, I, sh I will say. Um, and uh, there, and I kind of time hop too, but I won't say too much because I would give it away. There's a, a big <laughs> connection to myself and Mitch and um, our relationship that is more than meets the eye. So, Pretty yeah. Cool. Um, now, Chris, you play Dave, but you also produce. Um, yeah. How how was that? Uh, double duty. But Darren came. Darren and I had finished up filming um, a short, like a uh, thriller film that we, we we were just we did because we could. And then when it was over, it was like, okay, well, what's next? And and Darren came over with uh, he came over with a script called Painted, which was uh, a pretty. It's a pretty great read. It was just, it was very elaborate. And then he also came over with this idea. He said, "I'm kicking around this idea of a, a, of a series called Timekeeper." And I said, "Okay, well, what's it about?" And he says, "You ever see the movie Memento?" And I said, "No." And so the first thing I did was watch Memento. <laughs> and then he came over with the scripts, and uh, or he might have emailed it, and I read them, and I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. Like I didn't know. It's a normal, normal. Yeah, like I had Most no people idea. on the street, what? I was like, what the fuck okay. is this? Like, I couldn't understand it. It seemed like a cool idea. And then he came over and he said, okay, this is what it's about. This is what it's about. And I kept saying to him, Darren, this doesn't make any fucking sense. And I, let me rewrite. <laughs> so I would do some rewrites. And Darren would go, no, 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 no. And it just got to the point where I was like, as a, you know, as a, as a friend and a producer and a, and a colleague, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go with it and see what happens. And sure as shit, like, it turned out to be, it all made sense to me. In the end, it was like, oh, that's what he was trying to do. And so, <laughs> I'm serious. Like, I had no idea. Silver lining. <laughs> no, the first, the first season, I had no idea what the fuck was going on. And then when I watched it all come together, it was like, this guy's on to something, you know? Like, yes, I knew he was a brilliant cinematographer. I mean, we had worked together on, on two, two or three different projects before Timekeeper even came into existence. And so I trusted his inclinations. But I didn't understand the project. And so as a producer, it was just like, what, what could I do besides go, okay, everybody, get to set now. We've got to shoot. Like, <laughs> I had no idea. Like, they would come and ask me things, and I'd be, I would have no answer. And then uh, after the first season, we, it seemed like we started finding our stride a little bit. You know, we, we dolled up some loose ends. And, and um, uh, you know, it, when you're filming a web series like this and actors are constantly booking work, we got lucky because we, we got lucky because the series allows us sometimes I don't think that much anymore, but sometimes if an actor goes, Okay, I've got to go to New York now and then you never hear a phone call or email from them again, it's very easy to kind of manipulate that that's that, that kind of script work there, but but now everybody's so set and now there's a path and, and there's a so what I would suggest is to audiences from a producer standpoint, enjoy the first season. Enjoy it. And then love the second season when we start down a real path. I mean, Darren has carved a universe uh, for the audience. You Not can just love both seasons, though, if you want. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. You I'm can okay. love it as much as you I'm saying enjoy it, but, I mean, you're going to love the second season. Am I the only one I will say that my husband, when he found out that uh, uh, that you, Darren, as, as Timekeeper, were a regular tweeter during the show, he was like, oh my god, Timekeeper? I love that series. Um, so you he have actually, some, like... He actually texted me right before we uh, were going to do the live uh, the live view. Like, I'm so excited yeah. for this. And I was like, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 
Yeah, oh, he had a little sweet. moment of being starstruck when he found out that we tweet back and forth with you guys every week. He was awesome. like, whoa! Am I going to be seeing this picture of Nicole online right now? Uh, yeah, she's got um, Necrotius 18 on her right now. It's, it says Necrotius is awesome. It's, it's awesome. Like it's, it's, uh, That's nice. It's also kind of um, a really weird, creepy picture. I don't know. I'm getting a little is, scared. She's being really yeah, like... It is. Yeah. It is. Um, but right. at the By same the way, time... Sorry, oh, just Nicole the is doing a fuck counter. A what counter? A fuck counter. A fuck bomb counter. Uh, F -bomb. How, many, how many are we up to? Seven? <laughs> oh, we gotta get a way, yeah, way above that. We can make a hundred. We can do a hundred. Fuck Let's yeah, go. come on. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say it. Nice. Fuck. I, there you go, eight, nine. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Hey. Um, oh, sorry, go ahead, Jeff. Oh, I just want to share that Julian from LARPs, Tanya, thought instead of Rogue, you should have been a, a perfect saber tooth. <laughs> In uh, I can see that. <laughs> yeah. Because of the rope bridge, right? I don't know why, because... <laughs> <laughs> Mar it's in a different spot tonight, kind of. My computer is on a different angle. Um, so, I mean, this is sort of going from what uh, from what Chris was just saying. Um, Alec and Lauren, you guys worked behind the scenes exclusively. Mm -hmm. um, how did that work when you had actors kind of running away um, as a production manager? And also, how do you do continuity during a time travel show, Mr. Script Supervisor? You go first. <laughs> um, well, I was very fortunate into I was I was pretty much in charge of of the leads um, transportation. So if he wasn't there, that was that was all me. So <laughs> there was only one person to yell at. Um, otherwise, uh, I I remember going back and forth quite a few times looking for people. <laughs> You know, it's not my turn. I'm going to go sit over here and hang out for a second. But it's just uh, it's a lot of running around and making sure everyone's in the right spot. But And tons of emailing, a lot of texting. Major. <laughs> you must have your phone in your hand at all times. So, you know, just balls in air. Where exactly does Darren want us to go? <laughs> yeah. Where the fuck Learn to juggle. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Maybe text and drive, but uh, you know. it's okay. We won't say it, anybody. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Didn't happen there. No, all lies. Mm. I mean, the lead actor got there alive and safe, and if That's he right. had any bruises, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> True. You get no bruises. It wasn't your fault. Sorry. Nice. Makeup covers. Makeup does wonderful things. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's uh, one, so yeah. one night he met uh, the lead actor, and she showed up with this this really horrible, like like um, oh, well done nice. nose, he, like got smacked by a door or something. But the night before, I'm like, all right, all right then, that's interesting. <laughs> that happened you know? in an alternate timeline, I guess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, how can we explain this away? No, makeup, heavy, lots of makeup. Keep putting it on. <laughs> he got in the car, and I was like. What did you do? <laughs> Immediately, like, jaw on floor. Oh, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, how are we going to deal with this now? <laughs> um, so, yeah, Alec, how was doing continuity on a time travel show? Uh, fun and extremely challenging. Luckily, <laughs> Aaron's uh, a really great collaborator, and he's really uh, great to work with, and oh, an amazing nice. crew. You're welcome. And, uh, yeah, it was just... I never experienced anything like it. I mean, I'd only done a script supervising on a few projects before I did Timekeeper, and this was by far the most difficult. But it, I feel it made me a much better script supervisor, um, and I just had a blast. But it was challenging because we're hopping from location to location, changing shirts because, like, you know, this character is just ch jumping through time, so it was... <laughs> It, at times, it was you wanted. I wanted to pull my hair out, but um, overall, it was, it was a very fun experience. Yeah, and some of the text is crazy as well. Trying to tell me what my lines were, the no go go yes. gauge, and the no go go gauge. <laughs> Luckily, we have a, a wonderful writer who loves putting in just scientific mumbo jumbo. There, there were words. There were words. Saying, go no go gauge. Go no go gauge. Yeah, it I don't know. Words. <laughs> lovely, lovely words. That... Bottom, bottom. She asked me, like, is this a typo? Bottom, bottom. No, say bottom, bottom. Bottom, bottom. Bottom, bottom. <laughs> bottom, bottom. Something wonky, something blah, blah, blah. Yeah. 
and yes, that was probably the that most. was a very accurate description of my penmanship. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> blah blah blah. <laughs> He's actually forgetting like the most. You like he had these colored pencils that he had his whole script like it was just covered. I didn't really understand your system, but it was <laughs> apparently yeah. Quite well, helpful. that's part of this being a scare supervisor is that you try to be coordinated with colored pencils, and mine just looked like a child had written all over it. It was just crazy. But that was yeah. I the dialogue was another challenge too, and that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, for Matt as well, and for Dave as well, and for Matt, Alice Chris, as well. Allison. I, I mean, we have a blooper reel, and it's about a good portion of it has to do with them flubbing their lines. And then <laughs> trying, what is it? Wonky, wonky, what? Ribber, blah, blah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Nice. So, yeah. Cool. Uh, on, on Twitter, Anthony Davis says Chris's character is creepy as beep, meaning fuck. I think. Does that count as the fuck counter? Yes. Yeah. I, I, yes. I'll what about the two out. previous fucks that I got? Okay. Um, sure. I don't, I don't know what number are we at. Does anyone know? Uh, <laughs> all fucks officially. Ju- Julian from LARP says, I won your DVD at the Super Geek Top, means Darren, DV- timekeeper, he was giving them out as prizes. Oh, and forgot to, get, forgot to get it signed. Man, can you send me one on transfer paper? I already responded to him. What did you say? I said, you know it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What, what? What, what? He's Julian from LARPs. He gets what he wants. LARPs get what they want. Nice. <laughs> um, uh, Lister Meet Anthony is also wondering, uh, Darren, what it was like to do little cameos on your own show. Yeah, that was more of a, hey, uh, where are the extras that we get? Uh, okay, crew, stop doing crew stuff and get in front of the camera. And that was me, too. <laughs> Yeah, that was not a, hey, I want to be in front of the camera. That was, okay, we need more bodies, and I'm a body. So, yeah, that, <laughs> was, a, that really was what it was like. Throwing yourself on the vehicle, yeah. Aaron, don't lie. That, well, yeah, that was fun. I threw myself <laughs> down my truck. Like, if I, we were up with part of, part of, you know, there's one very quick special effects shot where, where a bunch of people get run over. It's one of the things Mitch is supposed to do. And so at the end of one day, we had a lot of times so we set up a blue screen, and everyone got their, their chance to kind of throw their cell phone up my car, down my car or up my car. And I said, oh, I'll just climb on top of the roof and throw myself off. How's that? And everyone was like, uh. And then I did that. And that was <laughs> as well And I didn't die or break anything. Yeah. So. As well as being a great director and writer, he's a very method actor. <laughs> he lost his shoe in one take. Well, that yeah, it was planned though. Oh, I, I, nice. I I perched it so it could come ah. up. Oh. Deep uh, method. Nice. Method. Nice. Method. He's yeah. deep. Very method. Special effects. Um, Darren, where can people watch? Uh, where can people watch the show? Well, the easiest place to find it is at TimekeeperShow.com. It's got links to the YouTube channel and uh, and other places, Facebook and Twitter. Um, and also, I mean, everything for uh, Twitter and Facebook is at Timekeeper Show or Timekeeper Show Twitter or Facebook. Nice. Awesome. Very cool. All right, we have some awesome games coming up. Superhero tweets, our new game, Geeky Impressions. We're going to do some news next. But first, let's take a commercial break. If you're watching the recorded version, you're going to see a quick commercial right here. We'll see you back in a second. Welcome back from commercial break. <laughs> that was for you, Nicole. I know it wasn't anywhere near as good. <laughs> That's pretty damn good. That was actually right. really well done. Okay. <laughs> uh, here's my uh, favorite tweet of the night so far. Alexander Martin, our good buddy, says, listening to you playing Destiny at the same time, which is an awesome game, and fuck, someone on the show sounds like Jason Mewes. I'm going to guess that it's Chris he's talking about. <laughs> I say that's a compliment. Yeah. That's a compliment. Yeah, that's yeah, a compliment. compliment. Little compliment. Chris, do you know who that is? <laughs> no, I don't. I'm Googling it. Oh, no, nobody knows. Oh, come on. Oh, no. hey. You never watch hey, a Kevin Smith. Jay and Silent yeah. Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. go, go watch every Kevin Smith movie right now. Wait, right that now. Right. Or chronic? Take a break. Oh, no, I told, I'm, dry, I'm just He's bad with chronic. names. I don't, I don't even <laughs> you know, know I feel my like name. You could even pull off his like body double for sure. Just get your hair a little bit longer. You could That's do it. actually one of my aspirations in life is to be a body double for Jason Mewes. <laughs> <laughs> he said as he finally would find out who was. As he Googled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little did you know. <laughs> it's funny you should say that. <laughs> he had a dream last night. <laughs> 
Um, hey, Jeff, uh, did something cool happen at Miami Web Fest this weekend? Hey, Tanya. Hell yeah, it did. Um, hey. <laughs> so a lot of cool awesome. things happened, actually. Uh, let me give a shout out to uh, everyone who at Miami Web Fest. We met so many awesome creators here. Darren all tested us, I'm sure. Um, and yeah. a bunch of them are watching live right now. Thank you guys so much. It's really cool of you. Uh, it was just the greatest group of people. We had a ton of fun. Um, we did Super Geeked Up uh, on uh, Saturday there. It was an awesome. We had awesome creators come up and volunteer. We had the best fun. Darren actually co-hosted it with me along with Sean, uh, who was the marketing director of the show. Uh, big shout out to Sean and Brian who ran the festival. Uh, it was They did a great job. It was, it was a really awesome festival. I had a lot of fun. And on the award show on Sunday, I'll start with Darren. He already mentioned it, but once again, Darren, show the, let's show the trophy here. I, I don't know where it is. I think I put it in the closet. And, oh! oh. oh. I, I just walk around the house and suddenly it pops up floating. It's weird. That's here, This is best fantasy sci-fi web series. I don't know if it's focusing, but... It is. Uh, it is. Yeah, so that was pretty exciting. I was sitting there in the seat, fingers crossed, hoping. Heard it called out. Didn't trip on my way to the stage. It was, you know, all around good things, I think. It's awesome. So, yeah, that was exciting and uh, yeah, pretty awesome. Congrats, Dan. Thank you. It was. It was. Uh, a bunch of other awesome awesome friends won other awards, so congratulations to all of them. Uh, I was super excited that Super Knocked Up, which is uh, my series, uh, which taught Tony we totally skipped that part of the show. I guess we should do that in a second. Uh, hey, you're the one who jumped to news. I'm just following your lead, my friend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Uh, so I just, yeah, it just occurred to me. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so uh, super knocked up. Uh, Jordan Gibson, my uh, lead actor, she won. She won Best Actress at the, at the festival. Here you go. Here Yay. it is. Let me position this correctly here. Hey, Jordan. That's awesome. There we go. Yeah, so super, super happy for that. Uh, I was honored to accept on your behalf. Uh, my speech started off with, this is fucking awesome. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Nice. So, okay. Yeah. And uh, they're going to have the, uh, they did live stream it, but they're going to put the recorded version up, I think, fairly soon. So you guys, anybody who didn't see it can go watch. Wow. Um, hell yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, so Miami Web Fest was awesome. Can't wait to go back uh, next year. Uh, a lot of awesome things. A lot of awesome parties, too, by the way. Parties every night. There were after parties. There was a party bus. There was a cruise. It was ridiculous. Yeah, I missed uh, the cruise. Yeah. So oh, cute. sorry, sorry. Yeah, I went straight to the second venue. I was like, forget this, Miami downtown driving. Yep, yeah, no. I almost, I almost died. I almost died. It's horrible. <laughs> Miami drivers, I don't know. Like any Miami drivers, sorry if I'm offending you. I, I almost died like twice. It was pretty awful. <laughs> Crossing the street at a stop sign. I, yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> but the parties were awesome. Yeah, they were. Yes. Nice. So thank you, Miami Web Fest. Thank you, everybody. Who came out, and particularly who came out the Super Geek Dub? That was uh, we had a best, we had awesome fun with you guys. All right, all right, here. So let's do let's do the show stuff that I skipped over. Uh, so <laughs> talk about t oh, our shows that we do. Uh, super Knocked Up is an action comedy. Female supervillain gets knocked up by her superhero nemesis, and these two enemies have to raise a baby together. And you can see the award-winning Jordan Gibson in it. Um, Tanya, what is your show about? Do you want to do Nicole's too while you're? Oh, me? Okay, yeah. fine. Uh, you better at it. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, so Nicole does a show called Progress. It is about... Uh, great, now that you said that, I don't know what the hell to say. Uh, it's, <laughs> yeah, steam powered internet. steam powered internet and Jack, Jack the Ripper is on the loose. In the Victorian era. <laughs> Thank you. Victorian era, yes. Uh, and <laughs> there's a spin-off show on. called... Spin-off show... Stop whispering, I can't hear you. There's a spin-off <laughs> show called Ask a Cam Harlot which is uh, very uh, awesome, and that you can watch that at jts.tv slash harlot. How can you not watch that, really? I know, exactly. It's harlot. It's in the name. <laughs> slash harlot. Yeah, that's true. Oh, my God, slash harlot, Jath Ripper, sorry. That's right. That's where I was going. Your connection. Yeah, nice. Um, I'm in a show called Asset, um, which is also on JTS. Um, you can see that jts.tv slash asset. Uh, it is about a regular Canadian guy who was unknowingly recruited by the CIA to take down a Russian arms dealer. Um, and I play an evil spy. I do that a lot. That was your last That was, that was, your that was evil, right? That was yeah. terrible. That was terrible, Lav. 
I was totally in character right doubt. there. It was only 11.57, so we'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she does it with a Russian accent in the show, so it's even better. Uh, yes, um, yes, I do an accent through the whole show. Um, so less of the Canadian, more of the Russian. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Nicole's getting a lot of love on Twitter for people are missing here, so that's nice. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, people miss her. She's tweeting right. once in a while, whenever she's not vomiting, I think. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what is, uh, hey, Nicole, uh, Tanya, what is the Skullbusters yeah. news yeah. for me? Um, so yeah, it was officially announced today. Um, I'm, I never say his last name right, so correct me um, when I say it incorrectly. Um, Paul Feg, Fig? Feg? Director of Bridesmaids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he confirmed today that a new Ghostbusters movie is happening. He is directing it and writing it. Um, and the rumor is is that it's going to be all women. Really nice. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I heard that somewhere. That's awesome. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Oh, wait, That's so they're saying so they're not? Are this is a Ghostbusters three or is this like a reboot? They're saying Ghostbusters three. I think there were people that were upset about that, weren't there, for some reason? Because there were women. Oh, people are always upset. They're always upset about something. <laughs> That's you know, why. Oh, you were reinventing the whatever, and the who cares? Yeah, it was something like that. Yeah. How, how dare you? Come up. How dare you put women in movies? Right. Women can't fight ghosts, apparently. No. <laughs> I don't know why it's because. I mean, it's not like Paul Feig has any sort of experience directing women in hit movies. I mean, Bridesmaids, no one saw that. No. At all. I don't even know what you're talking about. Um, yeah. That was, did, that, did that movie yeah. even happen? I thought it got canceled. I may, but yeah, totally <laughs> trash. Totally trash. It didn't launch anyone's career in any way, shape, or form. I don't think so. And it certainly no. wasn't nominated for an Oscar. No. No. Absolutely <laughs> not. not. It didn't happen. No. no. So yeah, that's the Ghostbusters news. I mean, I, I know a lot of the huge fans. Um, I think it's really cool um, that yeah. you're, I guess, I don't want to say rebooting it, because I don't think it's really rebooting, but it's that they're doing it with the all females. Like, I think that's awesome. So. Hey, Tanya, yeah. so uh, if you get a chance, don't pass off audition for this one like you did actually. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> yeah, I've learned just to say yes when the casting director's like, hey, do you want to audition? Yeah, you just say yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got some time. That's a general rule. I, I promise I won't pass this one up. I promise. Cool. <laughs> All right, it's time for superhero tweets. Woo! Yay! 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 Woo! Um, so Nicole, this is this is your game tonight. I'm gonna hope I'm doing it justice tonight. Um, so we're. Fingers crossed. <laughs> um, so yeah, tonight a superhero's tweet is about um, we give certain situations and we give out characters and then we tweet about what they could possibly say in that situation. Um, now Nicole was saying because she was inspired by Halloween, she's picked a lot of villains. So this is villain superhero, or I guess villain tweets versus superhero tweets, whatever. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> um, so yeah, so the first one. First topic is what are your greatest fears? So what would Jafar from Aladdin tweet about his greatest fear? Anyone? Chris Angel freaks me out. Yeah. <laughs> what a freak. All right. I think that's universal, so okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think that's normal. That's normal. <laughs> yeah. Who yeah, doesn't freak out? Monkeys, especially but... like threatened though by Chris Angel. What yeah. did you say, Allison? And he's a magical person. He is. He is. Allison, what was yours? I said I was going to say something about monkeys. <laughs> yeah. That's a broad subject. Where were you going with that? <laughs> <laughs> monkeys. <laughs> Jafar the monkey. Abu. What's his name? Abu. It's Abu. It's Abu. Yeah. It's Abu. Abu? Like Abu. something Abu. about some, a play on the monkey and Abu. Ah, scared. Abu. <laughs> I don't know. I see. I see. <laughs> That's good. I like that. <laughs> I have a five month old, okay? No, so, that was great. <laughs> was um, mine were, uh, was lamps, whatever you do, hashtag don't rub it. <laughs> yeah, it sounds a little dirty. Yeah, hash, yeah. Hashtag rub yeah. something else instead. Yeah. Uh, it's getting dirty. dirty. It's getting dirty. <laughs> you guys know that I always go the dirty road. That's just what yeah. happens. I'm just, I'm just stating facts, not, not judgments. <laughs> You're from Canada, so we expect nothing less. 
Well, yeah, it's a proud tradition, really. It gets very cold here. Oh. <laughs> you no, know oh, I got nothing to now do. I get it. Mine wanders. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Darren, how about you? Mine would be. I just got the Mummy on Netflix. Those Beatles are bullshit, right? <laughs> 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 Darren's um, funny because he's always committed to his answers. Well, like it's, he, yeah. I don't. <laughs> Go ahead, finish. Finish. No, 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 no. Go ahead and dig that hole. Yeah. <laughs> no, like no matter he, how fucking ridiculous the joke is, he really sticks he really the landing. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's important in ridiculous joke telling, I find. This is true. Otherwise, it's just, you know, it falls apart. <laughs> Uh, did anyone think of anything for Corella DeVille, what her greatest fear would be and what she would tweet about it? I did. Anyone else? Go for it. Do uh, it. I just walked past a puppy and felt something strange on my lips. I think it was a smile and not an evil one. Hashtag going senile. <laughs> There's too many characters for Twitter. Yeah, I don't care. I know, that's what I was thinking. I don't care. <laughs> two, two tweets. He tweets out two. Or he uses, what, he uses that Twitter extender app. Come on. We, we all know it's there. Hers would just, I think hers would be, fuck cheetah print, hashtag Dalmatian, is all I <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Mine was just, um, hashtag PETA. Uh, 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 nice, very nice. <laughs> yeah, mine was, just had a burger, oh my god, I feel bloated, hashtag hope I don't gain weight. You just can to tell. Yeah. So remember that thing in the landing thing we were just talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you really got to commit to the shitty joke. Or <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you try. You say it. Yeah, let's hear Chris's. What's, what's Chris's? I already said mine. Oh, did you? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Nobody sorry. listens to me. <laughs> All right, then let's say, you say, like, let's say you tell Alex, but let's stick the landing. Yeah, oh. I'm just, hang on, what was it? Oh, yeah, I know what you did. This is what you should have done. Let me give you a line reading, shall I? Yes, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Take two. Just had a cheeseburger, feeling bloated. Hashtag, ooh, or whatever the fuck you said. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well done. So, it's it's he, evolving into he, this. Yeah, like, he's totally, like, totally Jason Mewes, though. The more he talks, the more I see it. Completely. Him. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, for a long time I thought it was Chris Jackson. Glad to know we got this identity crisis cleared up. Jason Mewes. Well. Woof. Shit. <laughs> nice. I'm going to have to look this guy up and figure him out. Yeah, look him up. He's, he's doing a fairly good impression at this point. Wait, you um, don't know who he is either, Darren? Are you being serious? I, I don't. He said oh, my God. Him. I've never seen so many people not know Kevin Smith movies before. I know I Kevin Smith movies. I don't, I don't know that one. Though. We're good. He's in all of them, or what? He's Jay. No. He's Jay from Jay and Silent Bob. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I wouldn't have known Jay. I didn't know his name. Okay. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, that's what you said. You yeah, I had to look him up. I mean, it's just not a household name. name. For me. <laughs> this is why we can't get Kevin Smith on our show because people don't know. Yeah, people yeah. don't know who you're talking about. Hey, like, hey I tweeted that thing so friend. many times. Yeah, yeah you Kevin did. Smith. You did. Yeah. He yeah. liked yeah. Kevin Smith or not? One time. I, I was pretty, pretty excited about it. Jason I know, Reese? right? No, oh, Kevin, Kevin Smith, Smith did. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. I know. I, he favored it twice, one of my stuff, and I was so excited, too. Yeah, it was right after I watched Red State. I was, I really enjoyed it. I was surprised. That movie rocked. Are you kidding it was me? It really good. I didn't know what the fuck was happening, but I loved it. I really, I, I haven't seen Tusk yet, but I really want to see it. I don't you know like Red State, is. really? Yeah, Good I movie. liked Red State a lot. I liked the first like third of it, then I was like, okay, all right. That's the one about the church people, right? Yeah, yeah. They yeah go that is. That shit crazy at the end, yeah. right? Have you yeah. guys ever? Have you seen his? Um, no, who cares? They, they, they don't watch it watching anymore. But I think Darren and I watched it together. We were actually killing a twelve pack together. Could be. Uh, it's, it's fuzzy for some reason, but yeah, sounds well, could be right. Why, and right? I remember laughing my ass off. Like yeah, I just remember a lot of weirdly, weirdly bad acting coming in at the end. It was just strange how. Just no, odd. you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for but the first third, I'm like, this is cool. Yeah. But yeah, but that was at the end of the twelve pack. You know what? I think I just liked the memory more than I liked the movie. Because welcome to the Red of Red State. Out. Instead of super geeked up tonight. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me interrupt this review for a second. 
to uh, one one thing I tweeted out uh, was what do people think about all female Ghostbusters and who would they cast? So oh, okay. a couple answers. Matt uh, tweets in. Uh, I don't know. I know half of these people: Kristen Schaal, Anna Ferris, Ellie Kemper, and Melissa McCarthy. Yeah, like half of the bridesmaid crew. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Uh, at Hunter's Realm, Eros. This is uh, the, I know these people. I like it. Anne Hathaway as Vankman. Felicity <laughs> from Arrow as Egon. Uh, Olivia Wilde as Ray, and Rosario Dawson as Winston. I like those. Nice. I mean, I highly doubt they're going to be playing those, unless they're all daughters of those characters. That, that would be interesting. Yeah. Interesting. That would be very cool. I feel like Anne H- Hathaway could pull off Vinkman's daughter. She's got that look. She, she could pull off anything. <laughs> Wait, what? I, I tend to be you're a fan of Anne Hathaway, I'm a, I mean, Yeah, I'm a big fan of Anne Hathaway. I think she's great. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> we can probably put Scarlett Johansson in there, because she should be probably in everything. Yeah, man. Sex sells. Megan Fox, Scarlett Johansson. Oh, no, no. 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 Hollywood. no. Come on. No. And I think Michael Bay. Wasn't it Michael Bay? Michael no. Bay brought her yeah. back from. Yes, not the Michael Teenage Bay. Ninja Everybody. Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> They're bringing in. I'm telling you, Hollywood. Sex sells, man. Ugh. Fuck Breaking comedy. news. I super geeked up. Sex sells, Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. Who knew? Don't go for the jokes anymore. It's not working. <laughs> I need to go read, rewrite all my scripts now. I didn't know that sex sells. Holy crap. Yeah, sex yeah. sells. <laughs> all right, what are, are we, we still have to do Ursula. Is that what we're doing here, Tanya? Well, I was going to jump over to um, uh, to-do lists for, okay, for Billy. Sure, sounds good. Uh, for, for Norman Bates, I had must install shower curtain hashtag to-do list. Nice. Again and again and again and again. <laughs> What about you, Darren? Um, I'd say, Mom says I'm a catch. Need a new dress? Oh, I mean suit for my date. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Chris or Allison? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. Probably something along the lines of still vacant, hashtag lonely. Mine. I'd make him a sweetheart. Because, <laughs> you know, here's what happened. We criminalized a man who was suffering from a, a mental disability. He was, you know, he was crazy. He was probably on the spectrum. And, you know, <laughs> instead of asking him questions about, like, how we can fix it, we just we threw him in a fucking room and we were like, you, you know, you kill people and you're crazy. There was a method here. There was... We need to Where get to the you, bottom of this. Going with this? Where are you going with this? <laughs> I'm just saying that we shouldn't be so quick to like criminalize people who are crazy in movies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> in movies. <laughs> you like how I wow. saved the day with that one? I'd turn the nose right up on that sinking ship. <laughs> can, I, can I just say you're getting, again, more and more Jason Mewes-esque <laughs> as it goes along. <laughs> That was a crazy tangent. That was awesome. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Very cool. Um, does anyone have for the Joker or Norman? Alec or Allison? Or... Joker, Joker, and who? You had a or Norman Bates either. Or. Oh. You should do what would they tweet about their to-do list? Oh, the Joker's I... to-do list. Um. Joker's to-do list. Get a facial. Hashtag tampering. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. Spa day. Hashtag. Uh, suggestions for sweat-proof makeup. Hashtag bleed through. That's what I would. <laughs> yeah. um, I had for the Joker, holy lighten up Batman. Hashtag why so serious. Uh, Not really. That was good. That's a good uh, one. Yeah. It was more like what you tell him. Yeah. That's what happened. Jeff, have you thought of any? Uh, Joker, capture Batman in an elaborate plot, but make sure he can get away. So, uh, I don't know. That's all I got so far. I was in the middle of my tweet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's like the longest tweet ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I, uh,. That's all I had for those two. I couldn't think of anything for Freddy Krueger. Could anyone think of a to-do list for Freddy Krueger? Yeah, I got one. 
I can go. Versus, versus just a, sprint, a string of misspellings and odd, odd, odd uh, characters, then finally, must buy less pierceable phones. Cash <laughs> <laughs> Good for my fingers. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> well done. <laughs> hey, uh, Anthony Davis uh, says, Allison from Timekeeper Show and the girl who played Susan should be in the new Ghostbusters movie. Aww. Aww. Aww, nice. I agree. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, yeah. um, I'm not sure who he's referring to, but um, uh, Alexander Martin saying, he just described every Batman villain ever. Oh, I think that's you, Jeff. Um, hashtag Norman runs Arkham. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Now that is every Batman villain. They do some elaborate plot, and then of course they can't kill him. They make sure they yeah. don't kill him. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, true. That's something to do next week. Huh? Right. <laughs> Particularly on, well, the, on the sixty show. Well, how often do you spend time like yelling at movies and TV shows? Or like, why are you doing that? Like, why didn't you just kill them as opposed to walking away right now? Like, why yeah. didn't? If you're really that angry at them and they're really your nemesis, why didn't you just like when you had the chance pull the trigger? Or well, whatever. The, the Joker. It makes sense for the Joker because the Joker would have no reason yeah. to exist without Batman. The Joker lives to torment Batman, and he needs an enemy, and he wouldn't know what to do without him. True. They're all their opposites. They need each other. That's true. How does Batman need he... Joker? They're well, secretly in love, I think. <laughs> Their love? Is that what you said? I think they're secretly in love. Is it love? Yes. That makes... I'm, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I wonder what Batman and Joker would tweet to each other. Uh, oh, my God. My, my place I'm sorry, that opens up a whole possibility. <laughs> <that's just laughs> Joker, Joker, my place Joker's tweets would be amazingly long, and then Batman would just tweet one words back to him or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> all Shut up. Icon. All caps. <laughs> all, caps. <laughs> all caps. Gotham needs me. Yeah, with a little scally face. Yeah. <laughs> Sad Batman. <laughs> hey, Jeff, do we want to do geeky impressions? We do want to do geeky impressions, but first, we want to take another commercial break. So if you're watching the recorded version, we'll be back in a second. Welcome back from commercial break. <laughs> well. You do, man. You do a great Nicole. Yeah. I gotta do her proud. Be Nicole. <laughs> All right. So, geeky impressions. Uh, this is a new game. Um, as most new games go, it's either gonna be a great success or a complete debacle, and either way, it'll be fun. <laughs> uh, so, what we have prepared here, or I have, uh, I guess, is a bunch of characters. Uh, we're going to split into teams. One of you will do the impressions of the character. Uh, yeah. this, this is not like charade, so you're, you can talk, you can do whatever you want, okay? Um, and uh, the other team, the team has to guess what they're doing. you got to get through as many as you can in 60 seconds, okay? Jason Mewes, go. <laughs> Me. <laughs> yeah, he'll just, he'll just do Jason Mewes every time. <laughs> we win. Um, all right, so, Tanya, in the list I sent you, do you see how it's split into two teams and two lists for each one? I do some that. Ideally, yeah, ideally, we'll do, have two, ideally right, we'll do right, two right. rounds right. per team. All right, cool. what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. So we got to do a little uneven here because Tanya also knows the answers now. Yes. So let's see. All right. Well, who's who's good at doing impressions? I'm really good at impressions. <laughs> I'm terrible right. at impressions. All right. So Chris, Chris, Tanya, are you good at impressions? Here? Well, Person. I know the answers because I have the list. Okay, so you, you're useless. All right, I'm well, on you. <laughs> or I'm really helpful, either way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, as far as impressions go. All right, so you can't help us there. I guess I'll do the impressions. All right, so let's see. Let's. Um, all right, so I immediately regret that decision. I'm going to make a suggestion that if people are sharing their screen, screen they shouldn't be on the same team. Okay, yeah, okay so we'll do Chris and uh, who else do we have here? Chris... Boys against girls? Are you gonna do that? Is that gonna happen? Uh, no, actually, oh, not quite. So we'll do Chris and uh, Lauren. Okay. And then we'll do Alec, uh, Allison, and Darren. Okay. okay. You guys got three people. I don't count. I I just don't. <laughs> yeah, that's <okay. laughs> all. Oh. Um. So who? Uh. So team that's, that's one. Do you want to make that? Darren and uh, Lauren. Well, it was uh, it's Lauren and Chris actually. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. 
But they can be team one, yes. Okay. All right, so Chris, here's everybody on your screen. Uh, Chris, I want you to open your chat window, which you can do by scrolling over the left-hand side of your screen and clicking the blue button at the top. Everybody else, please have your chat closed. Do not cheat. Oh. Make oh. sure your chat is not open. I did, Chris. Okay. I did close it. Okay. No, Chris, you need to open it. Oh. <laughs> everybody else right. needs to have it closed. Yeah, yeah, Whoever's doing the impressions, have it open. So am I guessing what Chris does? Yeah. Yes. Oh. oh, so I can see it, or do I need to close my eyes? Well, no, it doesn't matter, Allison, because okay. we'll do different ones for you. Okay, got it. All right. So, Lauren, you you don't you can't see the chat, right? No. Okay. So, Chris, you have the list there? Uh, oh, no. Go no. ahead. Uh, uh, Tiny, go ahead and paste yeah. it in there, please. Whoa. So you can do that in any order you like. You don't have to go in the order it's there, all right? Great. Get I'll have to do the impressions too, since I've seen them. No, you don't. Just, just. No, Chris he's got more for you. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we have a different list for that. Oh, okay, great. Oh, half of these. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm good. These are All right, so easy. Just do the best you can. Do it in any order. Oh, go, go with the ones you know best first. All right, wait, wait, stop! Don't go yet. Oh. Stop. And all right, ready? So everybody ready? You're gonna have 60 seconds, and then Lauren, you guess. Yeah, ready. You can, okay. just, just move on to another one when she gets it right. Okay, great. And Twitter, you can guess along too as we're uh, doing this. Cool. All right, I'm gonna put Chris on the big screen. Ready? Yeah. Go. Roll, roll. Uh, right. You do? <laughs> yeah, yeah way to go, yeah. man. Uh, I am your father. Uh, Darth Vader. Yeah, way to go. Uh, uh, we need the uh, flux capacitor. Oh. <laughs> Crap. Don't look at me like that. I hate that movie. And everyone's going to hate What? Me. You I hate know. what? I want to quit this team. Are you kidding me? Stop. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Ass. <laughs> R2-D2? Uh, uh, yes. Right? No. no. C-3PO. You're doing, you're doing, yeah, C-3PO. Okay. Here we go. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it's got something from before. <laughs> Be, um, I want to suck the blood. Dracula. Yeah, yes. way to go. Um, is this the same guy that I think it is? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, that's, no, no. Time. that's time. That's time. Damn. <laughs> All right. You got, four. You, you, got, you got four. That's not bad. Thanks, not bad. Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Doc Brown. Brown. I said Doc at the end in general later on. It was Doc Brown, but that's not yeah. good enough. And also, you said you hate Back to the Future, so you don't get any points for that. I don't yeah. get to, I get to play. Wow. I sorry, do I'm not a fan of Back to the Future. Sorry, I'm there. not a fan of Back to the Future. I can't help it. I'm sorry. That's, that's yeah. terrible. Terrible, terrible. One of the best movies terrible. ever made. Your soul feels heavy right now. I just I made Twitter. Everyone's mad at me at Twitter. I can feel it. <laughs> I feel the Twitter hatred. You're right in now. a time travel show. I know. But I loved Timekeeper. Does that count? Yes. Yeah, that counts. But still, my soul, my soul is torn. My heart's darkened like on Once Upon a Time. There's spots of darkness in it. It's okay then. I appreciate that reference, Darren. Yeah. Um, who from Team Two is doing the impressions? Uh, I am. You are okay. okay. Right. So before we do that, let me let me share some tweets from before for our right. superhero tweets. That I'm catching up on. Um, no, there's no hate mail yet. Uh, Not yet. No, it hasn't yet. started. I'm sure there will be about Back to the Future. Uh, <laughs> Julian from LARPs about Batman tweeting, or Joker tweeting, says, Dear Batman, stop being a goddamn douche. Love Joker. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> and uh, our Sean Smith from Miami Web Fest just joined us. He's watching oh, yeah. along. He was on last week as well. Hey, Sean. Um... Oh, Anthony Davis had guessed Marty McFly instead of Doc Brown, which, which was a good guess, too. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> all right, yes, so team two. So, Alec, uh, open your window, chat. Chris, please close your chat window, please. It's okay, I can see It's it. closed. I'm not guessing. Good. All right, so it's Darren different. and Allison, you are guessing. Gotcha. Tanya, go Hi. ahead. Uh, Chris, Alec, you want the new list. So, okay, so, uh, well, I guess... Uh, oh, boy. Wow. So here's the thing from Doc underneath Dr. McCoy that's the new list okay the one underneath okay. Dr. McCoy is the new one yeah. okay alright so you're ready <laughs> yeah alright 60 seconds Darren and Allison guess ready and go uh, 
Watch. Da 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 da. da Indiana da, Jones. Indiana Jones. Um, Petroyus Baroque Boba. Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You got really Arabic in that last one. What? what? <laughs> King Kong. Chewbacca. Uh, uh, puny God. Hulk. Yes. Uh, where's Loki? Uh, step door. Door. Yeah. Um, I'm the best at what I do, but what I do isn't very nice. That's a lot of people, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pass. Pass. Okay. Um... Why so serious? Joker. Okay, good. Pat. Okay, good. Uh, I use a tube sock, uh, some tape to get out of any situation. MacGyver. MacGyver. Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, I pity the fool. Mr. T. Mr. T. Okay. Um, a cool uh, Okay, wait, wait. Okay, that was time. Sorry. Oh. Uh, I'll give. All right, I'll give you uh, the next one. All right, so that was seven. Nice job. Yeah. Wow. Thanks. Well nice, Alex. Except for, I don't know. So who was that one where I, I do it the best, but I'm not... Wolverine. 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 Does he even does he say that? Is that like a yeah, phrase? Yeah, he says that. I'm the best yeah. at what I do. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, now I forgive you a little bit because I didn't know that. You didn't know that. Boom, in your face. That's right. I, I, was, trying to, I was trying to be nice. I was trying to be gracious, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. Now that you're the founder of our amazing new game, Heads Up, you should probably know how to play it. What are you doing? <laughs> what was that? Sorry. <laughs> amazing new game. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We're going to do uh, the other team. Is, so it's Chris and Lauren, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, did they just freeze? Alec and Lauren? I think they did. No, we didn't. no, no, no. they're still there. Uh, I see him. Yeah. Okay. Lauren, are you there? Yes. Are you ready? Well, here's the problem. I'm not seeing my feed, so that's not how it's going to work. <laughs> my um, feed's the most to people. There, I can see them. They're still there. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, Laura, can you, can you ready to do some impressions? Yeah. All right. So, Chris, you're going to guess this time, right? Oh, I'm on it. <laughs> I'm ready to go. All right. All so, right. Chris, so, Laura, you leave, your your leave your chat open. Okay. Ready? Now, Tony's going to paste a new list in. All right. Yeah. After after this. So after this. okay. Bill. Bill. <laughs> okay. I wish I could have done that one actually. <laughs> well, actually, you 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 can because nobody else has seen it. To be honest with you. Oh well, they just said it though. <laughs> oh, all right. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Although we didn't specify okay. what okay. one. So, I mean, you got this. Just. All right. So sixty seconds, going. Chris. You're guessing. All right, ready, Chris? Yeah, let's do it. All right, and go. I am the Dark Knight. Yeah, uh, uh, I no. Uh, Batman? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I should have drank first. All the world, and it's me. I'm from Ooh. L.A., and I kick butt killing vampires. Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Yes. Uh... <laughs> I am. <laughs> I have pointy ears, and I'm from Star Trek. Oh, um, oh, what's his name? Um, <laughs> Pat. I'll remember. It I later. will control you with my mind. No, I know Spock. There we go. No. Um, I am Iron Man. Great. <laughs> Tony Stark. <laughs> Jack Morris, get to the principal's office. Uh, what was the last one? Zach Morris, get to my office right now. Time, time. Ah. Uh, that was a good one. That was uh, Mr. Belding. From and Saved by the following Bell. and yeah, watching a bunch of nerds' morning, heads exploded and shit. <laughs> They're on the edge of their seat. Yeah, All right, so you got, you got four as well. <laughs> you got four as well. That's a total of eight. Um... I also love how when you said I am Iron Man, he says great. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good place to be. Yeah. <laughs> got, got a nice apartment, and, you know, pretty you decent garage. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right, so, so last round, the other team, who's going to give the clues? Darren, you want to do it? 
Sure. Uh, yeah, Darren's doing it. So everybody else, Alex, close your chat, please. Mm -hmm. Allison, make sure your chat's closed. Darren, open yours. Time to go ahead. So where do I start from? Under under Roberts. Under Roberts. Mm -hmm. But you got to be on the other computer, Darren, so we can see your face. <laughs> we don't I'm know looking, where you are. I, I'm looking at the list first. Where is it? Under Roberts? Under Dread Pirate Roberts. <laughs> oh. He's just gone. Gotcha. He just like disappeared right. entirely. <laughs> I'll do it from down here. Is that okay? I would like to say that um, no, Mr. Not, okay, uh, Anthony that's got not. Mr. Belding, by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was he that? Did. And he got Spock, Mr. May got Mr. Belding. Mr. Belding. Nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Alec and Allison are guessing. Darren, you ready? Yep. Do it to the camera, though, when you do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, 60 seconds. Go. I'm a friend of Spock. I'm a captain. Uh, captain Kirk. Uh, do 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 Terminator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, I got that. <laughs> I'm good friends with C three PO. R two D two. Yeah. Where is it? Don't. Don't. I like donuts. Don't. I like donuts. Don't. <laughs> Homer. Don't. Homer. <laughs> we couldn't hear him. I, I fight aliens, and uh, I'm a woman. I'm a badass. Alan, Alan Ripley. There you go. Oh. Um, I, I really like um, snacks, you know, and I my best friend's a dog, and I have hair like this, like this. You, and I uh, ride around in a van. Oh, um. Come on. Who's friend? Mr. Stripes. There you go. <laughs> I, I bolt in my neck. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Um... I'm a Klingon. Time. This thing. Time. Uh, <laughs> if I didn't have to do this, I think I would have gotten through all of them. But yeah. All right. But so that is well done, eight. Dave. That's eight. Oh, so good. team two is a resounding winner. Yeah. Team two kicked everything. <sighs> Sorry, Chris. It's all right. <laughs> I'm just super glad you're Iron Man. It's <laughs> <laughs> great. Uh, I, I, yeah, I feel pretty good about it. Good job, everybody. I think in the future we'll have to do some stipulations to do an impression, not just describe what the character <laughs> is. That's, <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah. That needs to be a rule stated from yeah. the beginning. That's mainly what Darren was doing. <laughs> yeah. well, oh, Although I, I did yeah. like do I like donuts. Go. That, that was, oh, that was that took so long. I was like, I'm, they're going to get this in like the first dough, but no. <laughs> My favorite was the slowdown. Because you got really sentimental. Doe. <laughs> <laughs> got really... Yeah. Bambi. Really intimate with us, with the dough. Yeah. <laughs> like but you were ashamed it. of liking donuts. I like donuts. I, I was just ashamed that no one was getting it. I was like, dough? <laughs> dough? <laughs> dough? <laughs> Am I already forgotten, Homer? But Jeff, at the beginning you said, this is not like charades, you can say anything, so that's kind of what I went off on. Sorry. Didn't mean to screw it up. It's okay, Darren. <laughs> it's all good. You can't have He's the creator of Time Keepers, anyways. That's bad be, PR. Should be like, uh, that should be like on a banner hanging from my house. Yeah, it's just bad PR if the creator nice. loses nice. the game. Nice. Producer, can you just put that up there? The creator of Time Keepers can never lose. That's the next T-shirt. <laughs> That'd be a nice boost every morning when I walked out the house. Really. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, Anthony Davis. Players. He he got Worf by the way at the end there, Darren. He did. Warf. And uh, Sean Smith says, "I like donuts, dough. Best line ever." <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. Dough. Oh. Oh. Donuts, dough. <laughs> it was like a language, and each each inflection was like, "You get it. You don't get. It. You get it though, right?" No, you don't. No. Dough. No. <laughs> All right, guys. Why don't you give us links for the for the show again, where people can check out seasons one and two? Okay. Best place to find this is at timekeepershow.com. It's got links to the uh, to the YouTube channel, um, and also follow us on uh, on Twitter at uh, at timekeepershow and Facebook uh, facebookcom slash timekeepershow. Nice. Um, for Nicole for progress, it's progressseries.com, and Ask a Cam Harlet is jts.tv slash harlet. Did I get that right? You did. Yes. Good job. Right. Yeah, good. 
Um, and for asset, it's jts.tv slash asset. Um, Jeff, where can people watch shows of yours? Superknockedup.com is where you can watch seasons one and two, or the YouTube channel you're watching this very second. Sorry, the award-winning Jordan Gibson. That's the way I'm going to introduce her from now on. Uh, <laughs> and, um, yes, please check it out. Uh, Tanya, how about your show? Well, I, did I do that? I thought I, I skipped know. it. I, I, actually, I just forgot if you did or not, so do it again. I'll do it again. <laughs> it's jts.tv slash asset. Okay. <laughs> At least the first one was, like, audible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, twice. That's pretty good. Um, <laughs> And uh, thank you very much again to everybody at Miami Webfest. It was an awesome time. And for all you guys watching out there that we met there, thank you guys. That's really cool of you. We're going to have a bunch of those people on in future shows, so that'll be awesome fun. And uh, thank you to our Timekeeper crew for being on the episode 101. The kickoff for the next Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Of course. Uh, so, guys, I'd like to at the end of the show, and uh, we've got a little meet out here. We're all going to say super geeked up in unison, okay? Okay. All right. What? All right. So we're going to say super geeked up. Super geeked up. Got it. I'm going to point like, kind of like that. Yeah. Uh, we're we're going to do it. Uh, All right. So uh, Sean says, by the way, Sean Smith says, great show, timekeeper show, twice in a row. I was impressed. Nice work, buddy. Aww. Thanks, Sean. I try. All right. Uh, and Amy Hoff says, this was fun. Uh, sorry, I vanished for a while. She lost her internet for a while, but then came back. So thank Thanks you for joining us, Amy. Amy, I hope you made it to Tijuana, okay? That's where she was going from Miami Web Fest. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that. Holy shit. That's cool. <laughs> I hope you stay in Tijuana, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I stay in all those bar rolls. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, so uh, everybody, thank you so much for watching, as always, uh, for tweeting in. I really appreciate it. Uh, we will be back next week, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 p.m. Pacific, as always. Uh, until then, stay super, super geeked up. up. See you next week. <laughs>